And welcome back to the Hot Lab. And we are going to be talking the PS5 Pro. It got, well, announced, let's say, this week. And is it worth it? In particular, is it worth it if you are a sim racer on a console a la the PlayStation 5? I think there's four and against. And some of it gets a bit interesting, if you know what I mean. So here is the Sony Witness Play Unleashed. And they're saying, obviously, the, the PlayStation 5 Pro Console, the world's greatest game creators... Well, yeah, first of all, um, they haven't created that many new games, have they, compared to the PS4 era? I digress. Can enhance their games with incredible features like advanced ray tracing, ray tracing super sharp image clarity for your 4K TV and high rate gameplay so we've got the spec spectacle super resolution optimized console performance all these uh marketing marvels advanced ray tracing ps5 pro enhanced games okay so the games have to make sure they take advantage of it. So we've got demon souls in relation for basically your sim racing gaming at the moment it just appears to be gran turismo 7 so let's have a look at any if there's any other Nope, nope, just the Gran Turismo 7. Okay, fair enough. And it says play at 60 FPS or up to 120 with 4K output and ray tracing for, once again, this is important, compatible games. For compatible games. Yeah, we cannot, we absolutely, we absolutely cannot forget that whatsoever. For compatible games. We need that. As a, we definitely need that. As an exclamation mark, don't we? So, I mean, here's 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 a bit of news on the reel, on the reveal from Tom's Guide. And let's have a read, shall we? So it's finally been confirmed after months of persistent rumours. Sony has lifted the lid on the uh, beefed up PS5 console. The mid-generation refresh, don't call it the PS6, very similar to what they did with the PS4. It's going to launch uh, mid-November. Looks set to be a monster machine. Interestingly, in time for Christmas. Absolutely. So it's designed a halfway step between the current generation and what comes next in the same vein as the PS4 Pro, building on the foundations of the current PS5 and the PM PS5 Slim console. Um, and uh, I mean, you, you can tell it's the PS5 because you've got the, the go, clearly the go faster stripes. Um, by the side, the newest predictions that Sony would uh, follow the release pattern as seen. Yep, as we know, the PS5 Pro is going to launch on Thursday, the November the seventh, and so not that long now. Here's the bad news, though. Uh, the price is eye-watering. And we completely agree. The console will cost a whopping $699. £699. Or $1,199 Australian dollars. €799 Euros at launch. That's a whole $300 more. And I'm assuming that's American dollars than the PS5 edition cost at launch back in 2020. That is incredible. Neither con and now here's, here's the kick here's the big kicker. Okay, neither console comes with a disc drive. Oh, and if you want to stand your PS5 Pro up vertically, you need to fork out an extra twenty five dollars for a separate vertical stand. Now, before we go into any kind of motorsport gaming, and as you can, and as you know, there is only the one game. It's this that is the massive issue here. First of all, I mean this just stands out. Aside from the price, we'll talk about that in a bit. <clears throat> they. Don't put a disk drive with it, which they did the most expensive PS5 console with the disk drive. And if any of you, you want to play Gran Turismo and you didn't download it via DLC, you're going to have to fork up for the disk drive, which is not particularly great, does it? I mean, we'll get into how much the disk drive costs. So if you bought the special Gran Turismo 5 25th edition, which I did, I am going to have to fork out for an extra disk drive. You better start saving now. Yeah, not particularly great. If you're not deterred by the price... Uh, Pre-orders are going to go live September the 26th, uh, within the next 10 days. After uh, um, after accompanying the PlayStation blog post, explains that the team developed PS5 Pro with deeply engaged gamers and creators in mind. Yes. Uh, didn't really think about their wallets, though, which, fair enough, then. I mean, they got the ray tracing. They, they got they got decent designs and stuff. It comes with a sizable... I mean, this is, this is good. A 2 terabyte SSD. So, thank goodness... Sony have actually listened there. Significant upgrade on the 825 gigabyte hard drive that came with the PS5, and double that of the one terabyte that comes with the PS5 Slim. Well, the price. So, to be fair though, 
they have made the SSD upgradable. I think I've got an, I've got another one terabyte one in my PlayStation Five, and it's fairly similar. They said the look, uh, other than those go faster stripes. So much like the PS4 Pro, the PS5 Pro is a fairly niche gaming product designed for the most passionate place. Well, you can still be passionate and not be able to afford it though. But yes, most passionate players. And here we go. The article here saying it's even more expensive outside the United States. Um, and let's have a look at that then, shall we? So, the PS5 Pro reveal has not gone off without a hitch. Yes, there are many negative things that people are saying. While fans were initially excited about the mid-gen upgrade, many have now declared they have no intention of buying a PS5 Pro once it's released to the masses. There are those who seem interested in the power boost, but they are completely turned off by the console's extremely high price. We know all about that. But once again, the big kicker is it doesn't come with a CD drive. I mean, that's that's just ridiculous for me. Forget about the, the cost, which is in itself inexplicably expensive. It's just... I just don't I just don't understand the fact that it does not come with 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 a stand and you have to pay extra. I mean here's buy PS5 at number 4. Treat this is this this is the um I believe these are the PS5 con this is the PS5 console 2 2 dual sense. This is the normal PS5 wireless controllers bundle and that's with two 530. There's a the digital with two 439. Um, there's the console group slim with uh, 479 with a disk drive, I may add, and the the, the uh, PS5 digital edition model slim that's 389. And then you've got obviously as good as new. So the most expensive one currently is 529. But then the PS5 is let me see, uh, we've got it here, have we? Um, Maybe not. Do we have it there? No, it's on this guide here. How expensive? How expensive it really is. So five hundred and twenty-nine versus six hundred and ninety-nine. So that's. I mean, and that's the with the extra with with the extra controller. So and without the CD player. I mean, don't forget that. And the fact that currently, if you were going to buy it and you were interested in motorsport games, the only game that seems to take advantage of it is going to be Gran Turismo Seven. I've no doubt that maybe a Zeta Corsa. Competitione, I, I, I say maybe massive question marks simply because why would they do that? Because they've got the new the, the new Zeta Corsa coming out, so I imagine so they may they, that may well take advantage of that. And here's another thing: friendly reminder that not only did the PS4's price drop over a hundred dollars after the third year, but the first PS4 Pro's price this is comparing it to the PS4 ended up being four hundred dollars, which was the original price for the PS4. But now the PS5 is still the same price, and the PS5 Pro is over two hundred dollars more. And there you go. I mean, September the fifteenth, twenty sixteen, November the tenth, twenty sixteen. They they did drop. I mean, look, yeah, that's how much they were, three nine nine to two nine nine. I mean, pounds two five nine to three four nine. Very much more affordable. And that, uh, yes, that is two thousand sixteen prices. So maybe even adjusting for inflation, that's not as much. As the PS5 and the PS5 and the PS5 Pro will be now. Uh, here we go, though. Someone's put here huge, huge up for the PS5 Pro. Really, 33 teraflops. That changes everything. You can't get the power of a PC for that price. This is close to what you get from a 303, well, 3090 card. And those are expensive. Can't get too mad at the price. Now, $700, you really are getting a lot of value there. Yeah, you are. A lot of value, I don't see a disc slot. It's optional. It's not like PC gamers are using disc slots. That's completely different. I mean, PC gaming is a lot further ahead in terms of in terms of DLC, etc., than uh, console gaming. And getting hard drives is cheaper for, for you know for, for, for PC gaming. And we forget that most people have disc slots, so that one's completely absolutely you know, a nonsensical. It's a, and then someone's put teraflops is a bad way of measuring performance, especially when comparing uh, the NVIDIA GPU to AMD. Yeah, um, this is using NVIDIA metrics. They've got to be taking a loss in it, right? Somewhere, teraflops are a horrible metric only used by console peasants who don't know anything. They're not. They're useful to gauge performance. Uh, I guess. I guess they are. But still. Um, so, I mean, the age old, the age old, the age old. Um, the age-old adage, is this worth it if you are a console racing game enthusiast? I'm going to have to say absolutely no at the moment. No disk drive. 
negative. You've, if you want it up vertically, you've got to have a stand. Ridiculous. Um, teraflops, teraflops or not, it is a lot more expensive. And the only game to take advantage of it is Gran Turismo 7, which looks fantastic anyway. Um, yeah, so, so far, I'm so sorry, Sony. It's a big, fat no what are you doing? This very much reminds me of when the PS3 came out. It was so expensive compared to the 360. Now, the boss of Sony said, well, if you're, going to, if you're going to want this, you're going to need a... You are going to need a second job, which is, you know, this is silly. Shooting yourself in the foot, I think, if you're if if you're Sony. I imagine Microsoft about now are smiling. Nintendo are smiling. Sony, what on earth are you doing? If you want to see more about like and subscribe, hit that notification button. If you want more motorsport gaming news formula one news etc we are a motorsport predominantly a motorsport channel with a bit of gaming comment below down below let us know what you think about what is an absolutely in my opinion ridiculous state of affairs speak to you soon <sighs> it helps if i hit the outro button doesn't it <laughs>